so the plan for today as i'm stating is that we're gonna start the jib block uh which i've been wanting to do for a while now so i'm really looking forward to trying hot gold this time around because that's the version we're going to be playing i got the randomizer thing but i would like to go over the randomizer with you before we start I think what we want to do is Pokemon traits. We do base stats is fine. Pokemon times is also fine. So start a Pokemon. I do want this basic Pokemon with two evolutions. I think that makes sense. Just a random Pokemon that can't evolve. That kind of defeats the whole purpose of a starter, in my opinion. Moves and moves set. We do want to just keep this unchanged. Okay, uh, let's look into training Pokemon. That's fine. I'm mostly wanting to look at uh, wild Pokemon. Now, this has to be fully random. The more random, the better. Fill items, don't do that. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Are you a boy or are you a girl? We are a boy, and the first one is going to just be named Jib Kid. I'm going to name the first uh, starter after myself. If anyone in chat wants their Pokemon to be named after them, you can chip in. But your Pokemon dies named after you, you will be banned. Professor Elm was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. The device over there has the Pokemon you could choose from. Now, let's see. What do we get for this random? Oh, a Cyril or Paragon. That's not great. Or a Slackoth. I honestly have no clue which one is this, like is better here. I think for the first one, I'm just going to choose. We can have chat choose later on. But for the first one, I'm going to do Azeril. I like having names that combines a username and the Pokemon name. It's called Gibral. Save lie. Yeah, I should be able to just fight. Does this fucker only have status moves? There's no way that I choose a Pokemon with only status moves. I really would do that, huh? We should get running shoes here. I'll give you my running shoes. Let's go. Now we can sprint super fast. Butterfree. Oh my god. I wish we had some Pokeballs. I want to catch him badly now. I was just visiting my friend Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically calls data on the Pokemon you have seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. Abusal. Can't escape, brother. Is that gonna... Bro was level 3. Bro was actually level 3. Are they changed? Yes, they are. Ooh. <gasps> a Gibble. I need to go Gibble here. Not going Gibble seems like a freaking crime. Okay, what do we have here? We have Fortress. I wonder if I can beat this guy. Let's do a Tackle. That did not... Oh, no. Brother, if I die to self-destruct, I'm actually... Jib shit this time because I've died two times within no time. We got a is that not swine up? Is swine up a Dratini? I need to do Dratini. We have Sasha. We can do Sasha. Sashtini. I think that's a good one. Okay, what does Dratini have though? I need to check her moves. Let's see. We have Rap, we have Leah, and we have Thunder Wave. Does Rap do damage? Does not do a lot. These guys never have any, like, good moves. Let's see how much damage it does. Barely any. Oh, I think it did extra damage because it was wrapped up. I'm gonna go for it. Use wrap. Come on. Let's go. An Arcanine? Oh, I want to get that. Can't escape. Got away safely. Perfect. Slugma. Some people would do a uh, Slugma on these nuts jokes here, but uh, we're classy around here, so surely we won't. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Hey, don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I do have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. What do you have? You have a Chikorita. If we just spam Rab, I think ultimately we'll hopefully win. Oh no, he's starting to do some stupid hits. That was way too close. We'll call this guy Chad. That'll be you, Chad. Uh, <laughs> chip shit. I forgot I made myself chip shit. <laughs> You can catch wild Pokemon with Pokeballs. Follow me. Finally, Pokeballs. So we should be able to get our first one here, no? Which is going to be a third wig. Let me Thunder Wave. Does that not paralyze? I think that should paralyze. Yes. Okay. It did. Let me just try Pokeball. Did I only get five? Dang it. <laughs> I thought I got 15. Please, third wig. Am I about to waste all my damn Pokeballs on one third wig? 
Come on, Turtwig. You're paralyzed. Nice. We got Turtwig. Let's go. Our first catch. Uh, we can call it after Jenny. Jenny Wig. Do I have any money? Can I buy more Pokeballs? Because that might be a good idea. Uh, we do have some money. Uh, let me get f five. I think this is fine for now. Whatever the first encounter here is, we're going to catch it. What do we get? A Rayquaza. That might be harder than I expect it to be. We'll see. It knows Twister. That's really bad. This is like really, 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 really bad. Oh no, I think our Dratini here is going to die. Is that going to do too much damage? Please don't. Please survive. I think I need to just run. I could have actually switched, but oh well. I'd rather not lose my Dratini. Maybe Dratini was a shit pig. Why am I getting all the cool guys now? <laughs> what is this area? Why the fuck do we have a Tyranitar? Hello? Oh, this could be bad. And Rap does no damage. I think Sandstorm will chip me down. I should have known. Tyranitar, of course, has fucking bite. It makes sense. It's so obvious that Tyranitar has bite. Sashtini, it's been an honor. Release this Pokemon? Yes. And with that, a very sad but necessary thing needs to be done. I have the name here, and it's time to do the good old 07. Is this just Doom because Jennywig is level 2 and my, my main had shitty moves and died? Fight of the Turtwigs. Come on, we can win this. Why does that Turtwig do more damage than I do? I'm gonna die here, aren't I? It's faster. I feel like it's gonna kill me here. Oh no. Okay, so who can we choose from? Please be good. Cynical? Bellsprout? This is a Cynical. That's a no-brainer. It's a Cynical. We'll tag our way through the rival fight. Perfect. What's the first one? Please don't be my mortar. Aceril. I'm going to try and get it. And this should be a easy catch. This will be Roville. Are you just going to disable my tag again? Oh, and of course, on the last fucking try, you just disable my tackle. That was just a waste of time. Gyarados? I have a bad feeling that this might have a sick water move, so I kind of don't want to risk it. But it sucks that we got Roville instead of a Gyarados. That would have been so much cooler. Of curiosity, can you do anything? Do you have any moves? You have Charm and you have Splash, which none of these do damage. So no, you cannot do anything. Well, maybe we can find something in this area. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. A cloister. This could be really good. I mean, it seems to have attack moves, so that's a good start. Nice. We got a cloister. Let's go. It's such a good Pokemon. I love cloister. I think we might just end up benching our uh, Azrael. Oh, wait. It doesn't make sense to deposit it yet. To be fair, it's a chance of surviving. Aurora Beam. Why does it do so little damage now? That's so inconsistent, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, Richter. Please be smoke screens and some shit. I'm dead, aren't I? Cloyster was such a fucking good Pokemon, even. It's so annoying. Dang it. <laughs> Why am I being stupid? It was a short visit, but uh, unfortunately, it is time for us to say 07 to Cloyster. I guess I'll just charm. Well, there goes uh, Rovel. I'm sorry, Robert. <laughs> How do you have a Dragonair level 4? Hello? And why am I paralyzed? Come on. Oh, and we get a Quilava. Route 30, Route 31. So I need, I can catch a new guy here. Whatever this is, I can catch it. A Soul Rock. That might not be bad. Nice, a Soul Rock. Uh, we can call it Zeus Rock. As V2 is Susan A. Okay, what can we get in this cave? I'm just looking for the first encounter. I'm really just trying to get an encounter here. That's going to be so fucking good if I can actually get it. If I can get it, Metagross is going to be crazy. That's what I like to see. You're in the red now, so hopefully... Oh, come on. Oh, come on. And we can't even get it. 
Ah, that sucks so much. I wish we could have gotten Metagross. Plus, it took all my fucking money. That's so much money in Pokeballs right there. Just gone. And this must be the gym. No? City Pokemon Gym. Faulkner. Elkin Master Flying Pokemon. What is effective against flying? Flying is weak against grass and fighting and bug. And I have none of the above. What hopefully we could find is perhaps one of the grass, a bug, or a fighting type. Oh, can I maybe catch a Pokemon here? Oh, yep. That must count as a new... Wait, I have no balls. I forgot I used all my balls. <laughs> That's just GG, game over. Lost an encounter, because I'm being dumb. Do I even have any more money to really buy any Pokeballs? Let's buy 17, that's fine. Dusk Noir is uh, for sure something. I do have a bit of uh, fear that Ember might be a little too OP. He's done crit. This, no, there's no fucking way you hit burn. Why did I not think of Burn? <laughs> oh, no, we got a bronze song. We'll call it Leah's song. Welcome to the team. Hopefully you will do great things for us. Okay, flee loot, paralyze heal. Was it called Palace heal instead of paralyze? I might just be smoking the booth. Fire spin instead of harden. I think we do that. I'm not sure. Like, I've never been good with um, the whole idea of having defensive moves. Because I've always, when I play Pokemon, I just go attack moves and go like, yep, just power through it. Oh, is that the rival? That's you, Chad. Chad, that's you. Bato is a place of training. Cool and Pokemon test their bonds. Build a bright future together. And the final test. What the fuck is this hunch crow looking ass level 7? I'm sorry, did I? Why did I get an extra attack? Hello? Oh, and now I do damage, apparently. Oh, you piece of garbage for using poison. There's a technical machine called Flash. Take it with you. The Pokemon learns Flash. You can illuminate caves no matter how dark they may be. You can try it on Bellsprout, for example. What Bellsprout? I don't have no Bellsprout. <laughs> Unfortunately, we do have to say 07 to Sazerac, which fucking sucks because of a stupid mechanic, but okay. Fuck Hunchcrow. All my homies hate Hunchcrow. Okay, so we have two Pokemon to take this gym, which is not great. Oh, wait, we have a problem here. I need to not lose any of my Mons, because if I lose one of them, I'll have to sacrifice the other. And with not having anyone left, I'll be around reset. That nah, surely can't go wrong, right? I need to defeat all these guys. If I can't even defeat these guys, how can I possibly de defeat the other guy? Lia Song use Confusion. Ooh, one shot. Nice. <laughs> well done, Lizong. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Go ahead. Who do we even sacrifice after this? I think we sacrifice Lizong. Use Lick. Oh no, and Lick paralyzes. Please. I know you can't move. Come on, Lizong. You can do it. Nice. Confusion. Please do some damage. That's some damage. Oh, right, but they're randomized. That makes sense. For flying type, this is not very flying type. Just roar. Oh, okay. That's a switch up right there. Brother, is, are we, are we going to keep doing this? Is this our thing now? Is this just our thing? Are we just switching between them? Is that it? Do we want to keep doing this? I mean, we can, but like, are you going to, yep. Who could have guessed? I guess Caesar Quill will have the last XP. Well, that would be the first gym. And with that, we will sacrifice Leah's song to bring back our first band person. And with this, we will once again say 07. To Leah Song, we thank you for your sacrifice to bring back a fallen hero, aka Rovert. Such a noble sacrifice. Anyway, the return of Rovert Martin. Welcome back in our ranks. Oh, here it is. And we get a Togepi. We can call it Togizak, ass of Mr. Isaac. Hello, mother. Mother is calling. We will never not pick up a mother. Oh, hi. How are you? I'm good. I found a useful item while shopping, so I bought it with your money. I love when my mom spends my money. <laughs> In what world does my mom being a shopaholic need to be with my money? Thank you, mom, for giving me a super potion that I'm likely not going to use. Oh, fuck. I thought I could have dodged. Wait, no. Oh, no. This might actually be a wipe. 
Extrasensory does do quite a bit of damage. An odd unseeable power. It may also make the foe and flinch. That is pretty fucking good then. Why have I not been using Extrasensory? Because it does no damage to this Mammoth Swan. And now it's doing Power Snow. I think I'm going to take this chance. And then just go full in on Ember. Nice. Okay, that was the right call. Uh, yes, I would like one of your rods. Do I need to go cave here? I think I might. With this also introduces a new area. So this I can catch. And it's another fucking fire Pokemon. Of course it is. That's a quick attack. Hopefully it's not too powerful. Please don't one shot. No. Okay. Come on, Rabidash. One, two, three, and four. Well, that's a Rabidash right here. Pepe Dash, welcome on board to the team. A Gardevoir, brother. That would have been so good. It would have been so good, man. And then I get a fucking Rabidash. And I get two Gardevoirs later. That's crazy. I'm getting all the cool ones now. I love when that happens. Route 33, which means more Pokemon to catch. We should be able to catch whatever this is. Please be something not fire. Please be not fire. Please be not fire. Please be not fire. Hitman Lee, that could be really good. Quick attack, please don't fucking one shot, please. Why am I doing this? I knew, I had a feeling, why am I not listening to my fucking gut? What am I doing? Well, there goes Route 33. You don't know us? We are Team Rocket. What? We broke up a while ago. Give me a break, we have not broken up. Actually, we did once, but we have come back. Enough talking. Shut up and just beat it. Thought? Nothing is going on. It's unsafe to go in there, so I'm standing guard to make sure people don't want it in. Am I not a good Samaritan? I don't know about that one, Chief, but uh, do whatever you believe. Alright, we shall hit a heal. And with this, we should be able to train our Pokemon. Is it Jim here? There is a Jim here. What's going on? Do you know about Slowpoke Tail? I heard it's tasty. Aren't you glad I told you that? Eh? I think it's a bad thing in this universe to eat Pokemon, but what do I know? I would like to see if we can catch something over here, possibly. Ooh, it's the classic old version of the forest. And what do we get? It's another fire type. <laughs> like the one non-fire type I actually got, I just killed. Like, what am I doing? Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. The only thing that could go wrong here is if you crit. Thank God. Please just catch. Nice, thank you. Torco. We can call it Mr. Cool. We add another member to the team. So now we have four. Problem being that three of them is a fire type. And uh, the diversity on our team is absolute out the gutter. Like, it's just bad. But surely it can't go wrong, right? Having no type diversity can't be a bad thing. Hmm, who are you? Chiplet, eh? You want me to make some balls? Sorry, but that'll have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Ah, don't worry, I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket is an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyway, they are all the well, cutting off Slowpoke tails for sale. Sounds hurtful. So I'm going to give them a lesson in pain. Hang on, Slowpoke. Old Kurt is on his way. Hello, Kurt. Hey there, Giblet. The guard up top took off when I shouted at him, but then I took a tumble down the wall. I slammed down hard on my back, so I can't move. Giblet, show me how gutsy you are in my place. I sure will do. I need arena. That might be good. I'm hoping this is not gonna be... Every fucking time. Our first team rocket fight. Hopefully I can just existentially myself to victory. I need to start looking what they're setting out. I wish you didn't have to power through here, Caesar Cool, but uh, in this situation, I think it's the safest bet. I am often labeled as the scariest and cruelest guy in Team Rocket. I strongly urge you not to interfere with our business. I like how you give me a warning and then you just instantly fight me. Like, I, I couldn't even act on your warning. <laughs> There's a chance that uh, using fire moves in this guy is not the smartest. Okay, we're good. Caesar Quill grew to level 21. A small obstacle like you won't be much of a problem for our mission. I advise you to be very afraid of what is to come. We saved the Slowpokes. Let's go. Way to go, Giblet. Team Rocket has taken off. My back's better too. Let's get out of here. At least we didn't lose anyone. And I think we might be able to take on the gym. 
Yo, Challenger, Boxy made this gym. It's a huge nest of bug type Pokemon. Boxy, young, but he's a master of bug type Pokemon. It's going to be tough without my advice. Let's see, bug type Pokemon don't like fire. Perfect. Blind type moves are super effective too. All right, you're not necessary bug types. I forget how this actually works. Brother, please just hit. Stop being confused. None of this is fucking bug type. Like, what? Oh no, you're free. You have no bug Pokemon. It's so dumb. And the one time I don't have my fire Pokemon out, it's fucking Glaceon. Make it make sense. An actual bug Pokemon? What? Crazy. I know. I'm gonna fucking die here. Oh, it sucks so much. Oh, wait. That was perfect. Never mind. Caesar Quill will have to carry this or we will be screwed. Guess there's only one way to find out. Bugsy, who probably doesn't have a singular freaking Pokemon that has to, anything to do with bugs. Gibble, nothing to do with bugs. Oh, I'm fucking dead. It's a GG. That's a GG. Yeah, there's not much to do about this. Yeah, that's... Yeah, it's a sweep. It's for sure sweep. This Gibble is too fast. It's time for an 07. And so ends the fourth run of the Jib Block.